Hey guys, welcome back to part two of this little series. Um, now that we've installed the remote database, the next thing we're going to have to do is install IMC on on the host server that you're going to be installing it on. Again, on Windows 2008 R2 in this case, it's nice to keep things consistent. We're going to install the Microsoft SQL connector so we can actually talk to the SQL database. And then we're going to install IMC uh, 5.1 base platform and then install the latest service pack 5.1 SP1. So let's take a look. So we're going to run through the official installation. Um, it's it's probably a, a best practice, I would say, to make sure you're using the same version of SQL. So in this case, I'm going to use the exact same SQL media that I used to install SQL on the other database. So again, Windows 2008 R2. Um, I will tell you that if you're doing this in a lab environment, you can cheat and just use uh, double click and install Microsoft SQL Express. And it'll install the SQL connector by default as well, and you'll be able to get through this. But Again, we're going to take you through the official um, supported and documented way today. So again, the .NET has to be installed here. We've already gone through that. Um, make sure we pass everything as far as any tests. And instead of installing the entire SQL, we're going to choose just the component that we need to connect. So again, we're going to have to accept the licenses, send the information back, be a good citizen, click Next. We're going to have to set up the support files and install those first. Again, this might take a little bit of time. We will shorten that up with the magic of video editing. Look at that. Done. Just like magic. So we will continue on here. There we go. Rule check in progress. Let's make sure everything is good here and we're going to pass all those rules. 11 rules passed. Excellent. We're ready for the next step. So we're going to click Next. We're going to do SQL Server Feature Installation. So we're, we're not going to do all features with the defaults again. We really All we want on this one is just the Management Tools Basic and the SQL Client Connectivity SDK. Um, that's it. We're good to go. This will allow us to connect to the remote database that we installed in the last video. So if you are, uh, of course, installing IMC Code Resident with the SQL on the same server, you're not going to have to deal with this portion at all. So we've passed all of our tests. Again, that's an important thing to make sure. We're going to click Next. And that should be it. We're going to send that information back. Again, be the good, good Internet citizen, good Samaritan. Um, passed. All our tests are golden again. This is, again, I, I can't stress how important it is. If you're going to move forward, don't install on a box that you're having any issues with. I've seen this uh, more often than not just cause problems that you're in for a world of pain future. So if you do have issues with your installation, no matter what that is, um, I really, really highly, highly recommend just starting off with a fresh installation. Again, you, you save yourself the trouble and the headaches later. Uh, there we go. Look at that. Um, successfully installed. Everything's great. And click close. Now we're going to go to the next part. We're going to actually start installing IMC. So here we are. I have already uh, saved you guys the viewing pleasure of, of having to watch me download and unzip these two files. So this is just the IMC platform. Enterprise Platform 5.1 and the Service Pack 5.1 SP1. Um, I've already downloaded these from the HP website. Um, these are just zip files. I have uh, unzipped them already onto my, my desktop here, Windows 2008 R2. Again, fully patched. Um, do it now. Save yourself the trouble later. Um, the first thing to notice is in the zip file, uh, we actually have a manuals directory, which pretty much has all your documentation in there. So if you're wondering where's the readme file, if you're wondering where's the admin guide, um, it's all pretty much in here as well. Uh, even though this is the Windows version, we get, do give you the documentation for um, for installing on Red Hat, for installing with MySQL, for Oracle. Um, so if you, you were trying to install on Linux or um, you wanted a different da database, you can do that too. So again, we're going to click on the install here. And for this particular instance, because we're going to be doing a remote database, we're not going to do a typical install. Okay, we're going to have to click on the custom button. So as you can kind of see, it says custom 
optimize components or deploy IMC in distributed mode. So this will be a distributed mode installation. So why distributed mode? Well, you might want to uh, have further scalability. You might have a SQL cluster you want to take advantage, um, HA, all that good stuff. So in the last video, I told you guys to write down the password. Here's where you need it. So put in the password that you created for the SA account on your remote SQL DB. And we're going to change from localhost to another server, to a remote server. And what one thing that's important here is if this option is not available to you, it means you probably forgot to connect to, uh, to install the SQL connectivity tools. Okay, so right now it's going and checking the database, checking the credentials, and everything's good. We're passed. That's great. Let's accept our licensing, and we're pretty much good to go. Um, from here on in, it's just choosing what exact components you want to install. Uh, we're going to choose all of them here. Um, just put everything on there by default. If there's anything in particular you don't want, um, you know, you can make the choice of, of just not installing the package now or just not deploying it later, kind of your call. Um, to make my life easy and you, for your viewing pleasure, we're going to deploy or upgrade at once, which means you don't have to do the second step, which would be to go into the, uh, the management agent and right-click and deploy the individual modules. They're all going to deploy automatically as part of the installation progress process, which makes things pretty easy for you. So now we're in the batch deploy. Um, again, we didn't have to do anything here. Um, you may want to choose these to install NTA um, on the same server. Again, that does come bundled with with the IMC Enterprise. But in this case, we're going to leave them off because in a future video, I'm actually going, going to be installing them on a third server in distributed mode. So again, IMC scales hierarchically, as well as um, the ability to a do a distributed mode where you can break off certain of the individual components or modules and put them on other servers for scalability reasons. So again, the password here. So for the file location, remember on the last video where we created a data directory, C colon program files, IMC data. We need to make sure this is created. If you did not follow that step, your installation will not work. And uh, we even have a nice little error message here, um, or warning message actually, that says if it doesn't exist, if you haven't already created it, your deployment will fail. Um, right there in black and white. So again, make sure that you have done that, otherwise you will fail at this point. Again, that's a real, really common step that people miss. Um, pick your ports. If you choose, choose defaults, choose different ports, your call. And now we're going to not start the IMC server here because we actually want to install the service pack and we don't want to wait for the server to start. So let's look at that. So we're going to click on the install button in the um, monitoring agent. And again, it's not a typical, you don't look for an install or an or a EXE somewhere. All this is going to be done through the monitoring agent. So we're going to go um, open that up, click on Browse, go to the Desktop, SP1 folder, um, click into the Windows folder. There we go. You've got your manual directory here again, so all the release notes for 5.1 SP1 is in there, um, new config guides, all that good stuff. Click in the install directory and just click OK right here. So the first thing that it's going to do is, is uh, as we click Next and go through this, it's going to upgrade common components. So this does include the, the DMA, the monitoring agent. Um, totally normal. Don't worry, the whole thing's going to close here in a couple seconds. We click OK. And now we wait. Stopping IMC and related processes. Again, if we had started it, we would have had a problem. The DMA agent closed, now restarts up, and away we go. Checking install components. Now it's going to do a sanity check and make sure that the service pack you're trying to install, that the components that you're trying to install against, this is actually a supported. So um, typically this will be in the same 5.1, 5.1 SP1. And now we do, again, the same dis deploy or upgrade at once. That way we don't have to worry about doing the, those added clicks later. We're just going to wait till this is through. This may take a while as well. So we're going to wait till the upgrading the components is done, and then we're going to have to do another batch deploy, and we will be uh, home free. Batch upgrade successful. Click OK. 
and and honestly that's about it um, your IMC is now uh, installed and ready to go all we have to do is click start and um, in the next videos we'll be looking at some getting started and some best practices on discovery so see you guys next time in the next IMC management tutorial